that Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. And welcome back to Haunt the Collect with me, Jace. And yes, another one of the uh, sort of impromptu ones. Last night I was tagged in a post by uh, Jason from uh, Jason Studios, and uh, it was for Dark Side Studios' latest release, which is their Sauron diorama. Incredible looking piece. And it's got Sauron obviously on the base. You've also got Ellen Deal and his son Isildur there, and it's depicting that uh, moment from the start of the film fantastic swap out because you can actually swap the arm out instead of having him reaching which would depict the film and have the mace put in which is a depiction of the tapestry which is in Rivendell above the Shards of Narsil so brilliant 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 concept there and we were all chatting and I must admit I sat there thinking to myself wow that is just going to be incredible in quarter scale but can you imagine it in third scale and I sat there thinking to myself if that's third scale I'm, I'm gonna go for that it's going to be quite a while before it gets here. I'll still keep my prime one. Uh, but, yeah. And then we were chatting. And somebody came back. Because Dennis was on there by then. And there were some other people. But uh, they said, oh, it's six scale. And I could, and this is the thing. As soon, as soon as someone said it's six scale. Or it's been confirmed as six scale. I, I Immediately, my first thought in my head was, oh, that's it. I'm out. And anyway, we, we jumped over chase had tagged me something which was actually on dark side's page because dark side were asking for sort of feedback offers all so I, I jumped over and joined in and and dark side got sort of straight back to me um <clears throat> so i just sort of said six scale's been done wetter have done six scale uh, you know they've done i've just done a video about it reese he, they've got a six scale sauron he's done we've got a six scale ellen deal we've got a six scale gil galad coming and there was a six-scale uh, Isildur done previously, uh, which is set afterwards where he's actually holding the ring. And Darkseid came back to me, and they were very good, they were very polite, but they came back to me and said, ah, oh, but no one's done this actual scene, and then you could do the swap out blood. And I was like, yeah, I get that, I get that, guys. But six-scale's been done, and it's this moment. This moment. You're, you're seconds away from what they've done. I'm thinking more, how much of a target audience have you got left at six-scale? because people have already vested into, into what Weta have done, and Weta's prices have gone up, so people have already spent quite a bit of money. And just to have a scene that is brief moments later, now don't get me wrong, I think it's a fantastic thing that they've done, because you've got, I think it's the first time you're going to have Ellen Deal and Isildur sort of lay side by side, Ellen Deal dead and Isildur, and, and both the Ellen Deal and Isildur look, look to be done superbly well. And again, I love the, the swap out options that you've got. And I hope, I hope, it, 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 I couldn't see anywhere it said, but that, that depiction of the moment, you know, the, 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 like the tapestry or the artwork that was in Rivendell, I hope that comes with it. Because if it does, wow, what a display. Imagine having that behind it. It would be incredible. But Darkseid said, if we do it in quarter or we do it in third, because there was a few people chatting on the, on the thread and Darkseid were answering all of them. <clears throat> it's going to be enormous. And I was like, because when I first saw the pictures, I was looking at my quarter scale Sauron over there, and I was like trying to imagine two quarter scale humans on, on, on the base with, with him, and I thought, it's going to be big. And then I thought, crikey, in third scale. Monstrous. So Darkseid was saying they've gone for the six scale with it because of, of the size, because of the size and the scale of it, which I, I mean, I totally understand. And they said, obviously, the weight of it and the price of it and everything else. And I feel that, in, in all fairness to them, they're very much in a between a rock and a hard place on this one because I can understand why they're doing it six scale because of the price, because of the weight, because of the display space it would take. And I believe they're offering Sauron alone in quarter and third scale because the other thing for me is people that are going to invest into this line when dark side came out they gave this whole big display of silhouettes of this huge line they were doing and they said it's in quarter and third so a lot of people i know pretty much everyone i've spoken to has jumped on dark side for one reason third scale no one's done third scale not in lord of the rings 
So they, they've jumped on it for that. Oh, actually, you could argue now J and D are, but okay. people have jumped on this now for the third scale option. So to now come out after doing what they've done now, three pieces, uh, we've got Witch King, Azog, which is, I know, it's Hobbit, and uh, the, the, the Elven God, Soldier, whatever. To now say, well, this one's going to be six scale, that that's going to be annoying and surely that's going to ruffle people now i again i i get why they do it and i suppose people could argue well prime one did quarter scale and they, then they released the gandalf and balrog diorama which was no scale yeah but prime one that was only their second piece and prime one didn't come out saying we're just doing quarter scale they didn't come out doing this whole we're doing all these pieces they just revealed and and, and and released pieces so as i say i can see now that this is is, is a very awkward position for them to be in and i don't envy them one bit dark side i mean here because i think the problem with the six scale is as i said to them on that thread and i know when we were all talking on on the thread previously as soon as six scale was mentioned everybody was like oh i'm not having it i'm not interested so what what do dark side do now do they cater for the masses or do they go down the route where well just because people aren't saying it here most people are probably going to be able to afford the six scale option display the six scale option they've got to think of shipping although dark side if they stick to what they do shipping shipping within the eu is free by them it's all involved in the price and apparently to the uk as well so i think that they might want to consider they might want to consider this if you're doing a standalone sauron a quarter third i'm not i'm not entirely sure about this i think it's still all up in the air very much anyway why don't you do split the diorama base yeah, so the, what you've shown us, Sauron standing over Sildur and Elendil, you're doing that at six scale. Do a quarter third scale option, but split the base. So you can still buy Sauron on his own, but you could buy Elendil and Sildur as well as a separate entity, and those two pieces slide together. Giving people the option that want to do that and want to go for the bigger scales the option to be able to go for that to go for the for the full large diorama that to me would be something i'd i'd look at testing the water with and seeing seeing how many people would go for it come out and said you're doing the lord of the rings line in quarter and third scale and then a piece that everyone was looking forward to which was sauron and all of a sudden he's six scale i think you're going to lose a lot of customers on that and for what even there i know it was only like a couple of threads but everybody that was like oh yeah wow crikey can you imagine that in third scale but and then when the six scale they were all like no i'm not going for it so that that, that was like a hundred percent of the people that was ch were chatting on the thread that night i know it's only a very very small percentage of potential customers but we all straight away at the mention of six at the mention of six scale we're like no, i'm not interested and i'm generally not interested in the six scale at all i mean it, makes it very very easy for me to walk away from that whereas i can understand the the point that they're they're concerned about the size that this would be in quarter third look what infinity have done look what queen studios have done they they weren't well they weren't afraid to tackle enormous crazy sized pieces and to the best of my knowledge they've sold a lot of them if not sold out of me them. personally i would say the six scale diorama and i can understand where they're coming from but I would, for me, that would be a mistake. I don't think you're going to sell many of those. I really don't. As good as it is, and it does look superb. I, I, I'm zero interest in six scale. So, you know, I've just sold some beautiful pieces because solely because they're six scale. I'm not going to buy one now, am I? So yeah, there we go. I don't, as I said before, I don't envy Darkside this at all. The piece itself, I think, is spectacular, but they've got a lot to go away and think about now, given the feedback that I think they've already had. And so, if they see this, consider consider that split base option. It might be a way to go, guys. Let me know what you all think. Are you interested at all in this, regardless of scale? Would you be quite happy and prefer to go for the six scale because of the size of it, because of the price, and, and often having to pay shipping and, and, and display space required? Or are you totally quarter third scale for this? Do you think they should stick to what they said at the start? That, that you know, that we had all these silhouettes, and, and Sauron was there as one of them silhouettes, quarter third. There was no mention of six. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you all think. Love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, obviously, I will be back tomorrow because there was supposed to be a video coming out today, but I've nudged that across to get this one out because I thought this one was far more pending. The one tomorrow is, is actually for the Transfer Diaries. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, 
you know the old routine click the like button you know you might want to consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and i'll see you all tomorrow that want to check in with the latest entry into the ongoing new section the transfer diaries so i'll see you tomorrow and take care of yourselves and have a great week and i'll speak to you soon well, tomorrow. Tomorrow.